Hey everyone, I'm Tara. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing more of a training educational based video. So today I'm going to be teaching you about your four major core muscles because your core is more than just your abs. And along with each of the core muscles that we go over today, I'll teach you an exercise that you can do to strengthen that area. So I know I haven't done one of these videos in a while and I've been more on the yogi, spirituality kicks. So let me know in the comments if you do want to see more of these training based videos. I love sharing with you guys topics about holistic living and part of holistic living is caring for your body. And the more you understand your body, the easier it is to care for it. So with all that said, let's get into today's topic and learn about our core. So the term core muscles refers to the muscles in our body that are responsible for keeping our spine and our pelvis stable. So I know this sounds pretty simple, but achieving the stability involves more muscles than just your abs. Multiple muscle groups have to engage to keep your torso stable. And this is important because without this stability in our body, we would kind of just fall over. So we really need these muscles to be working. Think about if you're going like around a fast turn in a car, either you don't activate anything and your body just gets thrown to one side or you activate your core muscles and you stop yourself from being thrown to the side. That's a good practical example of what the core muscles do. Activation of the core muscles is also essential when you're moving your arms and your legs. So think about if you go to like kick a ball. So your leg muscles are going to be what's going to propel the ball, but if your core didn't activate, you would just fall over after kicking it. So that's why the core is so important. And you'll learn today that working on the core is more than just simply focusing on ab exercises. True core work involves addressing different aspects of the core, which we'll talk about now. So today we're going to be talking about four different major core muscle stabilizers. So depending on the source or the article that you look at, you'll find that there's even more than these four muscles that are considered part of the core. So I'm not saying that these four are the only core muscles, but these four muscles do play a crucial role in maintaining stability. So I did want to highlight them in today's video. First up, we have the transverse abdominis. And while other abdominal muscles do contribute to the core, the transverse abdominis is the abdominal muscle that's crucial for maintaining spinal stability. It's so important that this is a muscle that's often the focus when mentioning the core, which I am guilty of this when I teach yoga, I often say engage your core. And what I mean is engage your transverse abdominis. But I feel like if I said that, that might confuse people. But anyway, I might need to come up with a better term, right? Because as we're learning here, core is more than your abs. Anyway, the transverse abdominis is your deepest abdominal muscle. So it's actually beneath your rectus abdominis. The rectus abdominis is the common ab muscle that you would think of when you think of like a six pack, all right? And it's also underneath the obliques and that's gonna be the side abdominal muscles. So properly engaging the transverse abdominis is so important in enhancing abdominal strength. And it's a step that unfortunately many people do overlook. Strengthening the transverse abdominis first is essential before targeting those more visible six pack muscles because our stability is our foundation. So we can't overlook it. I have a video where I go through in detail how to do a transverse abdominis activation. So teaching you how to even activate that muscle. It's the second video I've ever posted on YouTube. Um, so it's old. So my presentation skills might be a little different in that video, but it's still really good information. So I'm going to link that in the description down below for you. Once you get that down and you know how to activate your transverse abdominis, because that's step one, some other exercises that are great for working on strengthening this muscle would be something like your planks and also an exercise called dead bugs. So planks either on your hands or your forearms would work well. And for dead bugs, you'll be laying on your back and you'll be moving your opposite arm, opposite leg. But for both of these exercises, you first need to know how to do that transverse abdominus contraction. 
So the next core muscle we have is called the multifidus. So people often focus training the front part of the core, right where the abdominals are, but they often overlook the back part of the core. So both the muscles in the front and the back of the spine are super important in making sure your spine stays stable, right? We can't just work the front of the spine, we also need to work the muscles in the back of the spine. So like we were just talking about, the transverse abdominis is the deep muscle in the front of your core, and the multifidus is the deep muscle in the back of your core. So this is gonna be more in your lower back region. So while you're training, it's so important to remember to strengthen the muscles of your back, especially your lower back, in addition to your abdominals. Because remember, both the front and the back muscles contribute to that core strength and your stability. A really great exercise to strengthen the back of your core to target the multifidus is reverse planks. So if you think about it, our regular planks, we have to stabilize our abs to hold us up. When we reverse our plank, we now need to use those lower back muscles to hold us up. And reverse planks can be pretty challenging, so a modification would be to do this kind of like reverse tabletop position. The next core muscle we have is actually more of a group of muscles, and this is the pelvic floor. So the pelvic floor muscles actually form the base of your core. So you could think of the pelvic floor muscles like a sling. This sling of muscles extends from your pubic bone, so that's in the front of your pelvis, and it comes around to your coccyx or your tailbone. And the pelvic floor plays an important part in maintaining stability of both the pelvis and spine, right? It's part of our core. This is because of its attachment to the pelvis and to the spine. So the coccyx, your tailbone, is actually the lowest part of your spine. To learn more about the pelvic floor muscles, I'll link a video in the description down below. I have a whole video on it. This is a whole group of muscles, so there's a lot you can learn about it, and they also have more jobs than just working on core stability. So if you're interested, check out that video. For an exercise to strengthen your pelvic floor, Kegels are gonna be your go-to. So Kegels are an isolated pelvic floor strengthening exercise. And Kegels can be challenging for people and there are a lot of common mistakes that people make when they're trying to Kegel and trying to strengthen their pelvic floor. And I also have a video on that that goes over how to Kegel, goes over common mistakes people make when they Kegel. Again, it'll be linked down below. The last core muscle we're going to talk about today is your diaphragm. So the diaphragm muscle is often overlooked in its connection to the core. People probably forget about the diaphragm muscle because it is the primary muscle responsible for breathing. So it's a muscle that really its primary focus is helping us breathe. However, the location of the diaphragm muscle helps us understand its role in helping with stability of the lumbar spine, the lower region of your back. So your diaphragm muscle attaches to the lowest part of your sternum. Okay, so this kind of bone here, the lowest part, it attaches underneath your ribs and it also attaches to your upper lumbar vertebrae. So this is your fourth major core muscle that we're talking about today. Unfortunately, some people, perhaps many, do not use their diaphragm muscle as their primary muscle for breathing, even though this is supposed to be its job. And to connect with this muscle, build its strength, doing belly breathing and using your diaphragm properly. So when you inhale, your belly expands. When you exhale, your belly falls back in is gonna be a good exercise to work on your diaphragm strength. So like I said, because this muscle is more related to breathing, you're not gonna be doing exercises like we would do for our deep abdominal muscles or our lower back muscles, right? So really to work on this muscle, it's gonna be doing that belly breathing, making sure you're breathing properly. And a lot of people are chest breathers and don't use the diaphragm properly, right? Like I said, it's inhaling as the belly expands, exhaling as the belly falls back in. So that's a little overview. Surprise, surprise, I have a video on this as well. So if you want more details on how to do diaphragmatic breathing, belly breathing, I'll link it in the description down below. So I have lots of resources for you guys in addition to this video. 
All right, so those are your four major core muscles that we talked about. So we have our transverse abdominis, our multifidus, we have our pelvic floor muscles, and the diaphragm. So I know that was a lot of information, but what I really wanted you to learn from today is that the core is more than the abs. So if you got this from that video, I'm happy. For my yogis out there, please check out my Patreon for some nice long yoga content. I'll be having new videos going up this weekend. And this month we'll be actually doing a lot of core work in our yoga flow. So I'll put a link to my Patreon in the description down below if you're interested. For my non-yogis, if you want more content on training, let me know and I can create a Patreon tier for you as I am a yogi, but I'm also pretty serious about weight training and I'm a physical therapist, so I can definitely help you out with workouts. So if you're looking for that, let me know in the comments. And otherwise, thank you all for being here. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button right below me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.